Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And uh, here we are outside on another nice day, hot as heck. Yeah, we're well over above 100 again today. So, looks like I gotta tighten up my flag there. I got my Labor Day flag all nice and clean and ready to go, but it looks like the rope stretched a little bit, so. I'm going to have to tighten that down. Alright, so anyway, I've been working on the railroad. No, I've been working on the solar. So, we're working on getting the generator cord put together here. That plugs into my Predator generator. That connects into the big blue box. Sun, got, sun Gold Power 6.5, 48 volt. Okay, so I put the cover on it, keep the dust and dirt out of here, and uh, it's got filters on the sides, and it already looks like I need to get my uh, air compressor out and blow those off. Batteries did well overnight with the uh, bad one taken out, and uh, right now we're still uh, powering the house, the cabin, and... The uh, solar is still charging, plenty of power coming in, batteries are at 100%. Cool. So, which wire goes where? Everybody looks at one of these plugs and they go, oh my god, how am I going to figure out which wire goes where? Well, because this is a 240 volt plug, that means you're going to have two hot leads and one neutral and one ground okay so the two hot leads are 120 each and when you put those together you get 240 that's why it's a 240 outlet or plug all right so which wire goes where I'm going to show you a secret that you can take with you for the rest of your life and never make a mistake by putting up the putting the wrong wires in the wrong place. How am I going to do that? Very simply. The color code. It's all color coded for you. You cannot screw up. All right. Green screw. Green wire. Silver screw or white screw. White wire. Very simple. Now you got a gold screw on this side and a gold screw on that side. So that's going to be your two hot leads. That's line one and line two. Just remember, gold screw is the hot lead, usually black or red. Green screw is going to be your ground. And silver screw is going to be your white neutral wire. It's that easy. You cannot mess it up if you just follow that simple rule. The screws are color-coded so that it makes it easy for you. And that's on all electrical devices, including um, light switches and um, uh, receptacles for electrical receptacles for the, the walls and that stuff. One side will have gold screws, the other side will have white screws or silver screws. And then it'll have a green screw at the bottom. That's it. You can't mess up. It's so easy, right? All right, so let me pause this while I get this outlet back together and then, or this plug back together, and then I'll show you some more. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back. I got that other stuff taken care of. Um, the, the plug is on the generator cord and ready to go. So I'm out here in the garage now. So today I finished the connections in here. I got my... 10 gauge SO coming off of the um, AC output on the back of the Ames inverter and it's 240 volts remember line 1 line 2 red and black and the white is the neutral the ground is connected here the ground wire runs underneath here comes to the ground lug here leaves there goes to the ground lug inside of the um, Midnight Classic Comes out of there, runs down to the ground rod in the ground. 
All right. The green wire here coming off of the ground rod comes up into the panel, the circuit panel, and goes to the ground bar. Now I could have put it onto this connection here if I needed extra um, ground connections, but I don't need extra ground connections. So I can just go straight into the ground bar. Okay. So I do have the breaker turned on right now and the pump. My shallow well pump is plugged into the new power and it no longer steals from the cabin electricity. So this, hand, this uh, 4000 watt split phase will handle the surge of that pump coming on without a problem. It has been for the past uh, six or eight years, so no big deal. And with a 12.8, 628 amp hour ultra with Bluetooth, with 8,038 watt hours, I'm going to have plenty of power out here because that pump doesn't run all the time. It only runs when I turn the faucet on. And it might run twice because I got a five gallon container down there or a five gallon bladder that holds water so that it doesn't have to keep running all the time. It, it runs just till it fills up the bladder or it fills up the tank and squashes on the bladder and that gives me my water pressure. All right, so the big SO cord goes in. I got my line one and line two connected. I got my neutral connected to the neutral lug back there. And I got the ground connected to the ground bar over here. Uh, it's all tied in. Now the hot wire goes to the breaker and the um, neutral wire that's coming down to this outlet goes into the neutral bar and then the ground wire goes into the ground bar. Very simple. Very very simple. I got my cover here ready to go on to, to cover that, but I left it off so you could see inside. And I had my electrical gauge here. I was going to show you uh, that everything is grounded and so forth, but uh, no need to do that unless you really want to see it. Leave me a comment down below. I'll be glad to include it in another video. So I'll show you outside. I, I brought 100 watts of solar panel over to get this thing um, charging because I was already down to 98% in my battery <laughs> just just from powering the inverter and the um, charge controller so here's my charge controller right now what's what it's saying I'm only got 16.4 volts coming in and 27 watts on a hundred watts of solar panel so it's not a lot of power, but it's some power. And like I said, it does, the pump doesn't run all the time, so that's the only thing really running off of this. So the battery will be charging all day long, and then it gets a quick jolt to, to run some water and goes back to charging. So I'll be fine. Now, you see I got an extra plug plugged in here. What's that? Well, in case I have to come out here at night for anything, I put a light in right here. Pretty cool, huh? So, the only two things running on this only run temporarily, um, occasionally, so no big deal. I'm going to clean up all the wiring and get it all fastened into place. And I had a couple of comments, uh, people freaking out because they see the exposed wire ends here and metal containers and oh my god. Uh, if this happened and if that happened, you know what? If is a very small word with a lot of meaning. Okay, so first of all, you notice that I'm touching this. Okay, I'm not getting electrocuted on that. Why? Because it's DC voltage and I'm only touching one terminal, not both terminals. All right, so. This will not, even if it swings over, it cannot hit that ground terminal on the uh, shunt. It's not, th this wire isn't long enough to reach down to that. 
Okay, and this wall, wall back here is all wood. It is not metal. Okay, now, these outlets in my original electricity all run and are, the boxes are mounted onto the metal containers. Now, if a mouse somehow crawled through that little tiny hole right there and got inside and chewed some wires and shorted out inside there, they can electrify the whole um, shipping container and then if I come out and grab the door to open it up I'll go come on you know what if you don't understand electricity please don't comment on it I've been working on electricity since the 1950s and I know my electricity and it doesn't have to be pretty trust me the wire this wire is going straight down it does not carry any electricity differently than this wire that goes down and back up again. All right? Just because it's got a bend in it doesn't make it less efficient. It, it, it's still carrying the electricity it needs to carry. Okay? All this excess wire, it's all coiled up here. That's not going to change the op operation of the shunt monitor. It really won't. It doesn't make that much difference. Uh, please, <laughs> you know, some some people I've noticed uh, because I've been doing YouTube for now for like uh, probably about 14 years. I notice that some people come onto your channel. The very first thing they do is look for something that they can comment bad about. You know, if you're banging a nail into a two by four, they'll tell you. You're not hitting it with the center part of the hammer. You're hitting off to one side, and you could burn, bend a nail and hurt your finger. You know what? Give it a break, people. You know? When a lot of us out here doing this are not dummies. We've been around the block, and around the racetrack a few times. Uh, if you, you, you have to comment on something, start it as a question, say... Do you think that will happen, or does this make a difference? I mean, it's a simple thing to answer, but don't go in and hunt somebody's channel and say, "Oh my God, if you do that, you're going to do this, and they're going to do that." And nah, quit guessing. You know, unless you're absolutely positive, that's going to happen. It's like walking outside. There's thunder cl th thunder clouds in the sky. Now, if I walk outside right now, I take the risk of getting struck by lightning, even though there's no lightning activity in the area right now. Why? Because if it suddenly decides to have lightning activity, it could, could happen right when I'm standing in the right spot. You know, if you worry about all the ifs in this world, You'll never go anywhere. <laughs> All right, everybody. So anyway, I'm on. I got the green light on power right there on inverter. And my inverter is on, power on. And I could put it to power saver, but that, there's no need for it. And my Midnight Classic is working. And I promised I would show you outside so this is one of the solar panel sets that I'm going to be selling to a neighbor as soon as he gets the money together and uh, I got all the wires coiled up there on top so he can have it rack and all I don't care I don't need the rack anymore but uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, planning another trip down to my friend's computer store where I get my solar panels and I'm going to pick up another 300 and I think it's a 365 watt solar panel or maybe I'll pick up another 460 watt solar panel to run this system out here. So that's my plan and I'm sticking to it and if you don't like it you can chew it. <laughs> ah, a couple of my pigeons out here. 
All right. Let me get this back in place here. So no wiggle sticks, uh, wiggle sticks sneak into my place. And shut off my fan. That's, that was to keep me cool, because I'm cool, man. You're really cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. That's it, everybody. So I'm going to move it on into the house and uh, get an ice cold water out of the refrigerator. Get ready to start making uh, dog food for supper and call it a day. It's a day. All right, thanks for joining me, everybody. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Subscribe is very important. Sharing is important. But subscribing is the most important. So all that stuff helps us YouTube creators earn money. And trust me, we don't earn a lot of money from this stuff. But every little thing helps. So if you subscribe and you give me a thumbs up and you watch my videos and you watch my ads and stuff like that, hey, you may be giving me an extra 50 cents a month. And I can use it. All right. Uh, please do that for us. Thank you. This is G Bear signing off.